everybody. Welcome to Mike's Classic Auto World. Today's road trip takes us to Scott's Garage again to take a look at his 1911 Ford Model T Touring Car. This is a pretty neat car. It's a brass era car, which is uh, not something you see too often. Scott, what can you tell us about this car? Well, as you said, it's a 1911 Model T Touring Car. And in 1911, you could get choices of colors. When they started in 1912, you could only get black. <laughs> and okay. that's because they were able to reduce the cost of the car to somebody purchasing the car because the paint dried faster, so they were able to push it through the assembly line quicker. And the black paint was cheaper than other colored paints, especially red paint. So. Yeah. Well, it's pretty neat. Something I didn't realize, which you pointed out, the back tires are actually uh, bigger than the front tires. If you look at the tires themselves, they're actually uh, taller tires. Yeah, I'm not so sure the wheels are taller, but the tires are uh, taller. Yeah, it's rear-wheel drive, and back in those days, they didn't have the roads like we have today. So, as you can see, the car sits up a lot higher. Yeah, it's a tall, tall car. And the car looks fragile, but it's not. It was a very hardy, well-built, pretty rugged, punishment, rugged car. Pretty simple. I know these cars are very simple. So I guess that uh, helped with its uh, durability. Mm -hmm. Less to break. Yep. And the lights back then were uh, kerosene. And this is a backlight, which would just light up at night. And the license plate is actually a real 1911 license plate. Yeah. And that's what they looked like back then. I see you had, you added uh, these uh, modern lights for safety. Yep. So this is what they call through AACA, a touring car. So you can take it on races and also group tours of countryside or wherever you're driving. People will get into groups and drive these cars, and you're safe on the road with those extra lights. That yeah. I know those kerosene lights really don't project uh, much light at all. <laughs> I don't think people want to they're in, them They're much. lights uh, in name only. It doesn't yeah. really give you much light. Yeah. And this uh, roof goes all the way up for not much protection because there was really nothing on the sides of the car, Yeah. on both sides of the car. So in the winter, it was uh, pretty brutal to say the least. I've heard stories of people putting making uh, potatoes hot in their oven and then bringing them out in their coats or jackets and blankets. Try to uh, use it as heat? Blanket, blankets, yep. And um, yeah, the rear seat had quite a bit of room, but can you imagine how much wind and rain and yeah. stuff was coming through here? Not a lot of protection in Even the Even with the roof up, I mean, it's just kind of silly. I was looking at this earlier. This this seat, it has to be... Uh, yeah, it was leather. It's leather, but yeah. it's it's... Nicer than anything in a modern yeah. car. Obviously, it couldn't have been this nice when it was new. But whoever did the seats really did an excellent job. This is very firm and, and luxurious feeling. So this you know, is how the seat would have high looked quality. back in 1911, and they called it tufted. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. But you can see the rest of the car is pretty basic. Yeah, I see you have a storage area. Is that what yeah, that is in the yeah, back? Yeah, that would be about that, the only trunk room you have. That door opens up just for odds and ends? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Check out the uh, Ford emblem on the on the floor there, Sorry, the rubber mat. Yeah, on the rubber mat, and the battery is under there. It is. Yeah, under that uh, spot right there. Yep. Now normally there wouldn't be a battery in this car, um, but they electrified. Okay. Uh, made it a self-starting car so that you don't have to crank it. Good. And that's part of making it a little easier to tour with as well. Up front, there's not a lot going on up here. And, you know, just even the trim in the car oh, yeah. was really cool with the, you know, pinstriping that they put in. Oh, yeah. There's even, a pinstripe in there. Look at that. Even on the wheels. Yeah, you can see how they pinstriped it. So, and these are all brass. Are those wood wheels? They are, yeah. Painted yeah. wood, yeah. Painted wood. Yeah. I know like this has a, a wood. wheel, right? Yeah, wagon wheel. I know this has a wood floor, right? It, correct. Yep, with metal framing. With yeah. metal framing. Now... School us on this. This is, is that for the fuel? Yep. So that would be your uh, cutoff for your fuel or turned on. This would be your choke. Okay. Magnetos were in here. 
And when we go on the other side, I'll show you how the pedals work. And okay. What's going on there? And then another lamp. Got the Ford emblem on this side here again, which yeah. is neat. Yeah. Kerosene lamp. Yeah. It's, it's pretty awesome. neat. Yeah. Is that the lock here? Is that how that opens? I I see a hinge here. I forget. Yeah. I guess yeah. you lift that up and. Yep. Light it up. <laughs> light it up. And same out front here too. These headlights are the same way. Wow, what does that say? It's got the Ford, the uh, Ford sign on there. Yeah, it's not cool. I don't know. Can we? Uh, can you read that? Yeah, there you go. Well, it's a little Somewhere. difficult. Yeah, too shiny. It's too shiny. You're right. And then the way you would be able to tell how hot the radiator was getting. Yes. This little white line in here actually gets a little red bead going up through it. And it's a that thermostat. will tell you that you're not overheating the car. Basically, it's a thermostat. Yeah. From this side, you can see the uh, yeah. little thermostat in yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, that's almost a piece of artwork right there, right? Yeah. With the wings and... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of detail there. Yeah. A lot of brass on this car. Now, there's a hand crank. You said this is electrified now? Yeah, but you can also start it that way, too, if you uh, feel energetic. <laughs> yeah, and you, you feel uh, confident? Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I see this has, uh, is this hinges over here? The, there's a windshield. Oh, well, it flips yeah, back so over this here. This window will actually torque back. Okay. Um, so on a large car carrying trailer, this car is so high compared to, say, like that car behind it yeah. from the 50s that you have to pull that back just to make sure it clears going inside. And this is every bit of uh, seven feet tall, I bet, when it's when it's all the way up, yeah, huh? the roof goes up for sure, right? Yeah. It's crazy stuff. And another lamp. And this crazy thing, a lot of people don't know what that is, but if you kind of follow all the tubing, yeah. it comes all, I know all the way back up to here. Oh. That's your horn. <laughs> <laughs> and you got another horn. Yeah, and another one. There you go. I think that one's a little louder than the other. I think you're right. <laughs> and this here, tell us about this. Uh, so that's where you would put your uh, kerosene liquid in for the for the lights. Lamps. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Yeah. And then this is your handbrake as well as letting it go into gear. Okay. And this is what they call your retard. And believe it or not, there's not a gas pedal on this car. This is your gas, and this is how you control the, the gas. the throttle? That's like no gas, yep. And that this is your gas pedal. Wow. But with your hand. So when you're driving, you have to keep one hand on that to adjust the speed most yeah. of the time, and the retard you can leave alone. So wow. Pretty, pretty These wild pedals stuff. here are not the gas and brake. No, no. So um, this is your reverse pedal, which basically... You have to put your foot on that and squeeze your foot in between these two to get the car to go backwards. So you're working two pedals at once almost. Pretty much, yeah. And then um, so and then the rest is your clutch and your, your brake. So. Wow. It's pretty neat. Oh, we got a tag right there. I don't know if you can read that tag. Is that the body number, the chassis number? I guess. I'm not sure I can't. See it? <laughs> Probably. Like a VIN almost, right? Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, and then again, you know, just your doors again to get in the back. Check out it's got a strap here <laughs> to hold it from going too far. Yeah. A lot of clever, yeah. clever thoughts. But I think the red paint is very pretty on these red glass. Yeah, usually you don't see them in outside of a black, but like right. you said, after... Uh, 11 everything was black yeah from 12 on correct i guess through the model for t's years, for many years yeah yeah you know i think i think eventually there were some options where you could have different colors down the road but yeah not for several years after 1911. Yeah. And you won't see any chrome on this car it's the brass era car <laughs> for sure so tell me what you think folks subscribe to the channel like the video if you like it leave your comments but uh, definitely subscribe. We're always bringing uh, new and different cars to the channel. Scott, thank you very much for showing us this car. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for coming. And we hope to catch you soon.